Coming to you in high definition, this is Fox at 530. Dry conditions, a lot of wind, and the flick of a match, a dangerous recipe during wildfire season. Fire crews battle a grass fire this afternoon near Chisago City. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us for Fox at 530. 25 counties across the state are under burn restrictions. The Minnesota DNR doesn't want to take any chances. And Fox 9's Scott Wasserman is live in Wyzetta where he got a first-hand look at what fire can do. Scott? Well, Robin, fire danger is high for a good reason. First, the vegetation, you can see it is so dry. And then the wind, well, it's kicking up right now. It can go at any time. The professionals want to make sure that if you don't want this to become this, you know what you're doing. I think, guys, after watching the wind, it's been bouncing this way at me a lot, you know, like we talked about. Yep. So let's start right here. Even before um, the fire is ignited. Soak that wood pile for me. The five-member team from Prairie Restoration. And then just leave this truck here as a protection. Goes over the game plan. Oh, it's still very dry. Yeah. If, if you grab the fuel, you can hear it. I hope you can pick that up. It's, it crumbles into little bits and pieces. Knowing how dry it is. It's extremely dangerous if you're not prepared. Justin Secora says it's important to protect the areas they don't want burned. It's really important to draw your line all the way to something that can't burn. So as the fire is lit for the half acre burn, you can see a wet line going in behind the flames. Go ahead, spray this as long as you're here. The water is supposed to keep the fire in place. It's behaving nicely, but let's not let it get a chance to get going. But with homes just across the road, they know ash can jump at any time, sparking another fire. Eric, you're watching for spot fires, okay? The wind, as you notice, as we're standing here, it gusts. So you kind of feel it hit you and then come away. And one of those gusts can throw a spark, and it'll hit the fuel and be gone, uh, and, and you can't catch it. Prairie Restoration has been doing this for 30 years. Now, these can get uh, pretty crazy pretty fast if you're a novice burner. Says every year they see homeowners let their controlled burns get out of hand, as we showed you last night at Fox at 9. Just trying to burn a little patch of grass and quickly the wind came up and it changed. So yeah, lesson learned. Well, it's extremely frustrating for people that are, do it professionally because we, we have a lot of permitting, a lot of processes we have to go through. And then uh, to watch uh, you know, carelessness and then let things go to hand, it's, it is frustrating. And even the professionals need to be on their toes. See what I gotta do, I gotta get this thing turned. All along the way, water is being sprayed down to protect the fire from spreading. As professionals, this is still a dangerous thing. You need to be taken very seriously. And Prairie Restoration adds, if you are going to do a controlled burn, make sure you spray down the area with water first before you do it. Also have that hose with you at all times. And the best time to do a controlled burn is during dusk and dawn. For more information on those fire restrictions, go to myfox9.com. Live in Medina, Scott Wasserman, Fox 9 News.